There's been an interesting phenomenon in the last two years uh, that's been happening to me when we run on these trails around the lake. And that phenomenon is people that I pass where I'm either going up a steep part of the hill or they've, or I've passed them, gone around twice or, you know, it's a longer run, right? Sometimes we do 75, 90 minute runs and we pass people twice and they'll go, wow, that's great. Good for you. <laughs> and if I'm honest, there's a part of me that freaking hates that, right? And, and I don't need to, I don't need to. It's, you know, it, when I hear that little Dora fest of good job, I just, I cringe. And the reason I cringe is because, well, it, it reminds me of that younger guy who used to hate when people would say, yeah, but you got to go to the Olympics. When they would find out that we didn't win, they'd say, yeah, but you got to go. And I used to think, yeah, but the point wasn't just to go. And it's the same ego, it's the same insecurity, it's the same garbage that is generating this response. There's a part of me, my ego, that wants to say, yeah, but do you know what I've done? Do you know the races I've been in or how hard I've pushed my body? Or in order to say back, this isn't a big deal, really. But the reason it's happened in the last year, two years, is because of this. And because of this, I look older and apparently I'm getting older. And so they see me now as an older gentleman who's out running for a long time or climbing a big hill. And, and that younger, insecure guy wants to qualify it and say, yeah, but, and I guess your mindset matters. Yes, in this instance, why can't it be enough? In the same way, going to the Olympics should have been, and I get it now, should have been enough back then. Why can't it just be enough that somebody is acknowledging that you, at your age, are still running for as long and perhaps as difficult, you know, courses or uphill that you are? Why can't that be enough? I have yet to say thank you to any of those people, right? I usually just kind of laugh and smile and whatever, but I need to say thank you. I need for them to be acknowledged that they took a moment to make a positive comment about another human being and who cares what I have done or been through or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's enough for them to acknowledge. And it's not just me, thankfully. It's all of us. We look for meaning. We make meaning out of people's comments. And we look for ways to, uh, you know, so almost undo them, especially when they're compliments. I think our work in this instance is, why can't it be enough to just acknowledge the compliment? Why do we have to either rationalize it or uh, blow it up and, and undo it and, and have this constant dialogue that runs counter to the compliment. It's, we are complex, crazy-making creatures, right? Uh, the human experience is, is a bit crazy-making at times. And, and here's an example. But in this example, there's an opportunity. And I'm going to embrace that opportunity moving forward. The next time, you're going to hear it from me, right? <laughs> the next time somebody says or acknowledges my, my running, because apparently I'm getting older, I'm going to thank them genuinely because that's enough. Something to consider. Take care of each other. Share the love. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Bye, everyone.